Welcome to Omega Open Course. In this video, we will learn the concept of approach and separation velocity, which has application over different chapters in physics like relative motion in two dimensions, Newton's laws of motion, work energy, power, rotation, etc. Also, we will try to explore the tangential velocity and its relation with angular velocity. Suppose there are two particles A and B with initial separation of r between them. A is at rest while B is moving with velocity v making an angle theta with the line joining the two particles. The velocity v can be resolved into two components, one along the line joining A and B and another along the line perpendicular to the line joining A and B. The component along the line joining A and B is v cos theta while that along the line perpendicular to AB is v sin theta. The component along line AB is called the radial component whereas the component along the line perpendicular to AB is called the tangential component. Whatever distance changes between A and B is only due to the radial component of velocity. There is no contribution in change in separation between the two particles due to tangential component of the velocity. Therefore, the rate of separation or separation velocity in this case is given by radial component of the velocity that is v cos theta. The tangential component of the velocity causes change in the direction of motion and angular speed of b with respect to a is given by tangential speed divided by distance r. Now suppose the direction of b is as shown. The radial component in this case is v cos theta and tangential component is v sin theta. As you can see, in this case the separation between the two particles will not increase, it will decrease. So the radial component here is approach velocity. Thus the approach velocity of b is v cos theta. The angular velocity is tangential component by r or v sin theta by r in anti-clockwise direction. Now suppose both the particles are moving, a with velocity u at an angle phi from the line joining a and b while b at an angle theta. The radial component of A is u cos phi and tangential component is u sin phi. Similarly for B, its radial component is v cos theta and tangential component is v sin theta. You can see, the direction of radial component of B is such that it will increase the separation between the two particles while A will decrease the separation. Therefore, the separation between A and B is v cos theta minus u cos phi. Alternatively, we can say that A is approaching with speed u cos phi while B is getting away with speed v cos theta. So the approach speed between the two particles is u cos phi minus v cos theta. The tangential speed of b with respect to a is v sin theta minus u sin phi. Hence the angular speed of b with respect to a is v sin theta minus u sin phi divided by r in anti-clockwise direction. Let us consider another example. In this case too, radial and tangential components of velocity of a is u cos phi and u sin phi respectively. But the direction is opposite. Velocity of v is same as in previous case. In this case, both the particles are moving away from each other. Therefore, their separation speed is sum of their radial components that is v cos theta plus u cos phi. Alternatively, the rate with which they are approaching each other is minus u cos phi plus v cos theta. In this case, tangential speed of b with respect to a is v sin theta plus u sin phi and hence the angular speed of a with respect to b is v sin theta plus u sin phi by r in anti-clockwise direction. Finally, if we switch the direction of velocity of a as shown, then the radial component of velocity of both the particles are towards each other and hence the separation speed is minus v cos theta plus u cos phi while approach speed is u cos phi plus v cos theta. The angular speed of b with respect to a in this case is v sin theta plus u sin phi divided by r in anti-clockwise direction. Shown on your screen is the link of the playlist of questions where this concept has been used. Check our videos on other such cool concepts. The link for the playlist is shown on the screen. Like and share the video, subscribe the channel and like our Facebook page for latest updates. Thank you for watching.